Black. He beat Pumko. That's a tough yeah, one. To beat rough. Kami is not easy. And especially that style of Kami. Uh -huh. yeah. And then he beat Ranma Sama. Probably Rashid. Also yep. very difficult. And then he beat Stupendous uh, to make his way into Loser's Top 16. Looks like you're going straight into it here. BX3 Phenom versus PG Filipino Champ. Oh, nice. Okay. This matchup is, is a lot about that mobility for Dalsum. Yeah. You just can't let Nikali in. And the ground options are only going to get you so far. You have to be above the ground pound. You know, you don't want to, at all costs, you have to prevent Nikali from gaining faster if you trigger. Yeah. Super important. I mean, look at Filipino Champ. He has not been staying still at all. No, you have to be mobile. And that's a general sim thing, but I feel it's extremely important, especially in this matchup. Oh, you have Phenom. Okay. I like the use of the early B trigger. Just look, pushes his opponent back to a safer yeah. spot. Look at that gray health. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what Phenom kind of wants oh, to get no back anti -air. here. Now, Rashid, I'm sorry, Rashid. <laughs> Nikali can jump well on Sim. He has really good jump ins. Yeah. So, Sim anti air, uh, not easy. Okay, Phenom, here he comes with a huge lead. And that's something I see him do a lot, actually. Go uh, throw after throw. I was just thinking that. I wonder how many times that's happened this weekend of just throw, dash, throw. Yeah. There's one point, I think he did it like four or five times in a row against yeah. someone. Yeah. It's, it's hard to defend against that as Dalsum. Yeah. And a lot of times you'd rather even eat the throw than just eat the big damage that, you know, Nikali gets off the crush counter, but here comes Champ. Champ getting some spacing for himself, whether it be Dragon Punch, nope, just jumps back, OS tech. Yeah, like you said, he's really trying to avoid those ground pounds. Each one of those leads to a knockdown, and here comes Champ once again. Yeah, each one of those also builds V meter for Phenom, and that is bad news for F-Champ. So now, now Trigger's ready, Yeah, and you see how bad that is for Simp. Dashing in already is Phenom. Yeah, Phenom activating it right away. Just wants that walk speed. Nice read. The jump, that's going to be it. So each time Trigger happened, F-Champ was dead in 10 seconds. And so you see why it's important for him to try to delay that as much as he can. He wants to deal a lot of damage and get positioning set up before that Trigger comes. You know it's going to come. I mean, yeah. you build V-Meter by getting hit, right? Yeah. So it's going to come. Question is... How well prepared can you be as Dawson for it? Yeah, and how, how early is Phenom going to activate it? It seems like his game plan is like, hey, as soon as I get it, I'm going to activate it. Yep. This walk speed is definitely going to help me kind of close that gap that he needs to in this matchup. Okay, there you go. Nice. I love that from Cham. Good pressure here. A lot of gray damage. Oh, boy. Even though that was an anti that was a lot of damage on Sim because of that gray life. Yep. Look at this. Okay, yeah, I don't think, I think... I'm not sure if Chat really wanted to neutral jump there. Yeah, I, I don't know either. The dash forward. And waking up with buttons is F-Champ. And oh, he missed the airport. Yeah. The air teleport was what he wanted. Oh, neutral jump. What an idea from Phenom. Again. Oh, my goodness. If you look at when that happened, that V-Trigger came out within 10 game seconds. That yeah. was the end of the round. Three times now. Tough spot for F Champ right now. He has to win next two rounds, and it's not going to look easy. That's for sure. Phenom starting it off much better than he had previously. Yeah, he just looks so confident in this match, and just, Champ is just hitting him so much more. But just the damage is not there. Phenom just kind of needs that one knockdown, and all right. the momentum is on his side. F Champ staying mobile. Yeah, this has kind of been the story of the neutral here, but finally, okay, gets a little bit of momentum on his side. That was all right, a tricky thought. All right, all right, I like it. Oh, and he's getting close to stun. Is Champ going to keep going in? No, okay. No, it looks like Champ is really changing it up. He's playing a much more offensive wow, Dalsim. Command grab. What a choice. That definitely caught F Champ off guard. And here you go. That should do it. And Champ with a small adjustment there. I think he's opting to be a little bit more aggressive. One thing I'm worried about for him, though, is if that was the tech, like if that was like the trick that he was saving, now yeah. it's out in the open. And Phenom is probably not going to get by that twice unless there's some other cool variation to it. So although he did do something cool, F-Champ still, I feel, is in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, and just the way Champ's playing right now, you can tell it looks like he kind of wants to go in more. The way he was approaching that neutral. He's kind of finding a way in. That was so nice. Mm -hmm. Could not get too much off of it. Gotta stay on top of that dash. And he did. Oh, oh, the read! Look at Champ right now. He's looking so strong. Trying to bait. Oh. The anti air was there. This time he was light on that oh. before. He got the right call, but Sim life. Hard to do. Yeah, no. 
Look at the spacing. Again, though, Phenom is not out of this. Oh, unless Phenom he gets too crazy to about it. Bulldog his way in here. Look at this. I mean, Phenom's going to need a lot. Yeah. No, that's a safe spot. And Champ is going to tie it up one to one here. What a change since the first game. It really was. I don't really understand the play from Phenom in the second half of that round. Yeah. Jumping in, dashing in, and it was not working. You know, the positioning was there for F Champ. Finally, F Champ said, okay, I'm going to stick at this spot. Yeah. And for a lot of that time, he was just moving backwards, moving around. And finally, he picked a spot, and he was right about when to do it because he had all the anti-airs and ground control at that exact moment. Yeah, I think Champ right now slowly trying to, to approach his way in. Okay, here comes Phenom. Yeah. Phenom just uses, loves the use of that throw, as we talked about earlier. Yes. Yeah, look at the spacing. Very different play right now out of F Champ. Much more grounded, and as a result, Phenom in. Yeah, Champ is going to be a difficult escape, but he does. What okay. a read. Yeah, really good stuff here from Phenom, but that okay. was a little bit of an unnecessary risk. It's going to cost him a lot of life yep, and cooking. great positioning. I love the screen. Yeah, the screen control. This is so good. Oh, oh. big no! Well, <laughs> Phenom gets okay. something. He's in this. Yeah, what's He's he in got? this. This is going to be big here. Okay, nice reviewers. And Champ right now. Just barely staying alive. This could almost do it here. One more mix up, and the overhead takes it. Wow. F Champ seemed like things were good, but you can never really feel that way yeah. as Dawson. And Phenom's Nikali played it great. Oh my god, did you see that Crouch strong counter hit? Mm -hmm. Great button choice here for Phenom. This, this grounded play is not working out for F Champ. He's got to oh, go back. That's oh, that's close to stun. He's yeah. got to be careful. Yes, yeah, so this grounded play is killing him. Yeah, one more hit can do it, but nice F Champ does get away. Yeah, this is Champ's gonna need to make a pretty big comeback here. Yep. He's gonna need some more crazy mix ups like we've seen before. Right, and that's not gonna do it for him. One more for Phenom. The low after having established overhead. Yeah, look at Champ's defense, so solid. He can't get hit. Anything is a risk. Okay, what's Champ got? Oh, and the crouch jab wake up, and Phenom is gonna take it over. Nice play by Phenom. Very, very pretty stuff. Yeah, I love, I, you know, he understands the matchup. He understands the characters really, really well. Yeah. So he, he knows.